and you've caught me aboard Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas, one of the world's largest cruise ships. Uh, it's really huge actually, Here, right behind me is a mini version of Central Park. As you can see there's also state rooms that face into the park. Uh, there's a boardwalk section that has a whole mini carousel inside, an aqua theater, and it has actually an adults only section, so that way those of us who don't bring the kids uh, can actually enjoy um, a little quiet time as well. Um, like I said, it's a huge ship. Uh, there's about 6,200 guests aboard today and about 2,200 crew members. So it really is its own mini floating city. Even though the Oasis of the Seas is one of the world's largest cruise ships, it's surprisingly easy to get around places. And just in case you can't remember where your room is, what the next activity is that you want to go see, they have these awesome boards all around the ship. Uh, what's going on right now, how you can even find your room, all the different dining options around the ship. So these are all touch screen actually. So you can move things around the ship. That way you can see an itinerary of what's going on right now, where you want to go, what next fun thing you want to see. So you can use your um, online guide here, or you can always use the daily compass that they give you in your room every single day to help you out around the ship. So I'm not going to lie, it seems like everything you do aboard the cruise ship surrounds food. Um, there's tons of great uh, different food options here. Uh, there's also um, my time dining and set dining as well. Uh, we chose set dining uh, we had at 8.30 every night in the main dining room. Uh, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, there's actually tons of different options. Uh, there's even healthy options for you as well, salads, paninis. Uh, there's also a little bit heavier options for those that want to indulge a little bit. Uh, there's a donut shop here that, that you get donuts all the time. Uh, there's also complimentary dining and uh, if you want to go a little bit more to the specialty restaurants, those are paid. Really a lot of great options for your um, all different tastes. There's also free frozen yogurt on the top deck. So check that out too. Enjoy the food experiences. Now since this is such a huge ship, there's tons of things that you can do. Uh, you can zip line, you can rock climb, they have flow riders where you can do body surfing and stand up surfing. Uh, there are dance classes around the ship, there's cake decorating, but there's also a lot of awesome shows that you can see at night. Uh, I recommend, if you can, make reservations beforehand. That's what I did. Uh, that way you're guaranteed a seat. Uh, things that have a really small venue, like their comedy shows, uh, sell out really quickly. Uh, so if you can reserve any of the tickets beforehand, that would be awesome. Or you can even reserve them uh, when you get on board, if there's room. If not, you can always uh, wait in the uh, standby line, and if there's room, they'll let you into the theaters. The shows here, there's a lot of singing and dancing shows. We saw Hairspray on uh, the itinerary that we were on and on our ship. Uh, there's a uh, diving show, uh, there's an aerial show with acrobatics, um, and there's also an ice skating show. It's so much live music here, uh, too. You have bands, you have cellists, so a lot of great opportunity to do things, see things, take part in things, um, and just whatever you're doing, enjoy around the ship. So even for the kids, you have the DreamWorks characters on the ship, so come say hi. <laughs> so after seven nights aboard the Oasis of the Seas, I'm wondering who's going to cook my food tomorrow and who's going to tell me what show I'm going to see. <laughs> we had a great time. Uh, there's really things to do here for all ages. Uh, we saw toddlers here, all the way people in their 80s, um, so a lot of diversity. Uh, the crew here is amazing too. I'm used to Disney service and they're really high and the crew here were really welcoming, really helpful and super friendly. Uh, they really have attention to detail to us in the decor and your experiences here. They're really creating memories for the guests. So get off your couch, get out of the living room and go explore the world. Maybe your next vacation might be a cruise. I'm Heather Huff, thanks for traveling with me and I'll see you next time.